what's going on everybody so the video i'm posting today is kind of the first uh like vlog style video that i've ever done i've never just really videoed stuff that i've done i've always been hunting or fishing or, or doing something um i've never really videoed like the day-to-day -day type stuff so um i thought i'd just give it a shot i really enjoy watching these kind of videos from other people because i always end up seeing something or um, that they use or just a thing that they do that I learn um, that is like different than what I do and sometimes it's better sometimes it's worse um, so I enjoy watching them so if you like this kind of video if you like seeing this kind of stuff just you know like it leave a comment text me whatever um, so this is the first uh, video like this that I've ever done so um, this is preparation for deer season 2020 2021 uh, getting everything ready, the preparation that goes into that. Um, so, like I said, if you see something that you like, leave a comment. If you see something you don't like, tell me. If you see something I can do better, let me know. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hopefully, all this preparation will end up in some uh, antlers on the ground. All right. It is that time of year where we are starting to switch over from fishing to hunting. It's getting later in the year. Time to start getting cameras out feeders out stands out all that good stuff and uh time to get roads cleared fields bush hogs and all that so we can plant it and get ready for october so we're gonna start out getting the uh getting the feeders ready getting some feeders out start pulling those deer in as it gets a little closer um i wish we had the type of land and property that we could leave this kind of stuff up all year long Unfortunately, we cannot for many reasons, but so we're gonna start trying to get it all uh, set up and uh, and start getting ready for deer season. First order of business is we've been having a serious problem with our feeders. Um, the corn doesn't all roll down into the spreader. And so it'll stop throwing out corn and still have six, seven pounds of corn left in it. So we're gonna try, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try to set this up on something and try to beat the bottom out to slope it in to where it'll keep throwing out so no sooner do i start trying to work just start raining of course the one evening i have where I can work, start training. Look at here. Zero percent, zero, 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 zero. Zero percent chance of rain. It is raining. So what we're doing today is we're getting a lot of our feeders ready and our cameras and stuff to put out. Uh, and we actually had two old 55 gallon drums uh, that we had here at the house that we weren't really using. So we bought some feeder kits, the uh, dispensers and the legs and stuff. And so we're making our own. So we've already put this one together. <clears throat> got the legs bolted onto it. Um, we've got the, actually got the feeder head on the bottom. Casey's sanding that one down. We're gonna put the legs and everything on it. And so for about, about half the price that you would pay normally for um, a full feeder we can make these two so give us two extra 55 gallon feeders so uh, save us a little money and give us two extra feeders for this year That's so thick. And then that way it's not going to harm the deer. Do is put 
flat washer on first, then a lock washer, then the nut, and then there's you. I'm gonna hold it under here. My leg, yeah. Man. Washer, then a lock nicer. Lock nicer washer. <laughs> They had camo spray paint, it was like five something bucks a king, so yeah. yeah. I'm just uh, late long. I'm creative like that. God gave me a mind. I can pretty that. much spray paint Mossy Oak. <laughs> Real tree, whatever camo pattern I want. Digital. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Crooked. You're the one beating it in. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we got all the feeders done got some good looking paint jobs going on on them got the legs and the feeder kit put on that one that one's already made we got the legs and the feeder kit put on this one so now the cool thing about these moultries is that they have um they have these they're notched so you just screw them on so we got the bases mounted so we don't have to put those on, we'll wait till we get some corn and uh, put the feeder heads on them and put the batteries in them and slap them out there. Be ready to go. But it's, it's pretty cool if you have any extra 55 gallon drums laying around, which a lot of people don't, but you get the feeder kit, these lids, and the actual thing for around like 60, 70 bucks and hard to get a 55 gallon especially. You can get feeders for that price, but usually not that'll hold that much corn. So we got them ready, so. Now we're going to get corn and put them out. Got the feeder barrels fixed up, repainted. So I'm going to try to go put one out now. But got a big dark storm cloud rolling in. So we'll see. I might get soaked, but I'm going to try to get this out. So. <laughs>
all right so another part of all this uh preparation for hunting season is um we hunt up here but we have another property in south alabama that's some family land that we've been hunting for years before we moved gotta get that ready too so i was able to get off work tomorrow so i'm gonna head down there tonight do some work tomorrow bush hawks and rows disc and fields get a feeder set up get a camera set up and all that um got my cousin caleb coming down to help me so i gotta start first thing i do is unload everything out of my truck and then load up the feeder and the cameras and the corn and blah 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 all that good stuff and then we make a three hour drive down tonight work all day tomorrow and come back tomorrow night so should be fun so we made it down here to chatham drove all night last night i loaded caleb up with me we drove all night last night, got in here. We didn't get down super late, it was like 11 o'clock. But we slept in just a little bit. And um, these tropical storms over here means that it is raining, which is just fantastic. So we're gonna kind of ride around, get a game plan of kind of what we, want, what we want to do. So when it stops raining, we can knock it out. We might ride up to the uh, hardware store and look at some fertilizer and lime and a few things, but we just crossed our fingers hoping that it stopped training. So we got down here with the tractor to, to bush hog out this little spot where we're going to put the feeder up. And uh, that's just great. It's not supposed to be like that. That's supposed to be connected and spinning. We just spent like an hour fixing that. And it popped off again, so. Fix it again. All right, so finally, yeah, even though it's still raining, it's slowed down enough. We got the tractor fixed. We got this bush hogged out a little bit. There's still a little bit of stuff here, but it's good enough. We can put the camera uh, feeder up and uh, the camera up. So we got some more rain moving in, so we're gonna try to do that real quick. And uh, then fix the bush hog again, because it keeps coming apart. And uh, so yeah, here we go. <laughs> got that on camera, son. Feeder set up, camera set up. We got part of the fields bush hogged. We got our new field, which is actually just right over there, bush hogged. And had to fight the rain today, fight the tractor today, so 
we got a decent amount accomplished, so hopefully the next time we get to come down here in about a month, we can go ahead and start disking and planting and finish getting stands set up and ready to slaughter some deer. Damn. Maybe the next time we come down here, we can disc and we can plant and set our stands up and we're ready to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it. I can't do it. <laughs> I do that all the time, man. I'll say something. I'm like, that was the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. And then you try to say it after, and you can't get it right. <laughs> bloopers, bloopers. Yeah. So maybe deer uh, and sh and uh, deer. Sh uh, Roll tide. <laughs>